this is live view in Backyard EOS and I'm using a team viewer from inside the house and I'm focused on Polaris as you can see there in the crosshairs <coughs> and in was it six times um, magnification in live view um, in this uh, cross here which is moving so I'll just re center that I think I've got to come out of five times viewer Everything's a bit slow, remember, because uh, I'm actually um, controlling the scope from another laptop that's sitting in the other shed. So wait, I just move this over here again. Oh, it slipped right down the bottom. center on that and oh, it's moved right that's it locked now and we can see up here I'll just move it into Down in the bottom here, if I can focus, I'll go into Stellarium and you can see that focus, uh, that uh, Polaris is shown there. Oops, and there. there's Polaris. Um, the plough or the big dipper with its stars there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and these two here, uh, and then that one point towards Polaris, that's how you know you've got Polaris there. Um, I'll just take you out and show you the scope in the garden just now, if I can manage that. Put the light on, so obviously you wouldn't see it in the dark. There we go. Not much to say about it, really. Uh, there's the camera. Uh, on the eye draw tube. Um, I can't show you it pointing at Polaris because it's this light here is drowning it all out. Uh, I've got the network hub there, the meat star finder. Um, that's about it. And uh, power supply. <coughs> and the computer is doing all the work. This laptop is being controlled by TeamViewer. 
via um, the wireless network and this um, laptop is controlling the scope with this LAN cable that disappears into the darkness here ok, I'll show you a quick look out if the light is still there let's look at this I don't know if that's coming up so we have it focus now. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye.